Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mac tutorials. Uh, today I want to go through OCR. OCR actually has been part of NAV for a long time, but it's always been done as a third party. Uh, it's not been really native to the product. But Microsoft decided to ship an element of OCR within the base product, which then connects to a third party. So right here in the uh, role center for the um, business manager, we can see that we have some incoming documents. If I click on that, so this is an OCR element. Here are documents coming in. This is in the base product. So let's go uh, scroll a little bit back and see how we can set that up. If I go here into service connections, uh, go to OCR service setup and setup. So here I can actually connect to the OCR service. And if I, um, it's already filled out in the demo database with these links, the sign up URL and service URL. And you can actually click on those and you can start signing up. And where do you go from there? Well, you actually go into Kofax. Kovacs is a company that does OCR, um, so they probably made some deal with Microsoft so that they will be recommended. Uh, like I said, there are a lot of other o OCR service providers. You don't have to go with Kovacs, um, but yeah, I decided to try it out. Obviously, it's uh, set up for that. So let me uh, just show you how that worked out. So I signed up, uh, and upon signing up, I did get... And let me just go in here. I got a, of course, password for my account, authorization key, uh, and I plugged those in and enabled that, and then I was good to go. So that's really all you have to do to set up this. Now let's see how it actually works in action. If I go into uh, my incoming documents, and um, Kofax actually will give you an email address, and you can email to that invoices, and it will start processing them and synchronizing to here. But uh, what I'm going to do is just create one from file. Uh, and bef before I actually get this in, I can show you here how the invoice looks like. It's super simple. It's rental expense uh, from Progressive Home Furnishings. Uh, and, you know, it's to Cronus USA, which is our demo company, etc. So very, very simple. And uh, let me just go and click on that. I import it and now I get a record around this you can see that the test invoice is uh, selected all right so what happens now <laughs> um so now we want the system to figure everything out for us and we don't have to type anything in right that's the whole idea behind this okay it actually did create a record for this and I have to go ahead and send it to uh, the OCR service which is right here now, there's a job that does that. If I would have waited probably five minutes, which would have made this video very boring, uh, it would have sent it itself. So now it's sent to the uh, OCR service. And I can actually go onto the web. Uh, I'm just going to go look at all documents here and see if it actually came through. So you can see here it is. I just sent this test invoice three. The document is created and it's trying to figure things out with it. So it's processing it. If I look at what's in progress, it's right here. It's in progress. So it's it's doing its job. Um, so uh, now we just wait for it to actually finalize it. Now I just refresh it here a little bit. I'm not really sure how long it's going to take. Um, uh, that's fine. So Meanwhile, while this is actually going through, um, we can take a look at a little bit things that you can do on here. So you, of course it's connected to an approval process. So it means that uh, you can send this for an approval uh, and right here. And you can also map text. So there is a mapping element here and here I can actually map rental expense to a particular GL account or a particular name to uh, a vendor, etc., etc. So this is the same mapping as we have in the bank reconciliation, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's using this text to account mapping uh, element in NAV, which is kind of nice because this could be extended to 
a much greater use uh, if you're a little bit inventive or you need some programming help um, taking this to the next level. Like for example, we would it would be nice to have anything that starts with rental goes to the same account, so rental star. You can't do that here, but small programming could help that. All right, so it finished now uh, and it's released. So let me just go ahead and receive it. And it's received. So another thing, I can click here and receive it manually, but obviously on a job queue, it will come back. So now it's released and received. And I'm going to go ahead and create a journal line. Now I did, you can create PO documents as well, uh, and then it'll create a header and lines. I did try that and I failed. <laughs> so I wasn't going to spend a whole lot of time trying to configure that. Obviously, I did not see any mapping per se where it should be looking out for the lines and where it should be looking out for the header. I haven't seen that with Kofax. I'm sure that exists somewhere or maybe you have to contact them to get that right. But it did fail on, on doing those things. But creating a journal line did work, sort of. <laughs> so I actually hit here, create journal line. It did create it. Uh, if I go ahead and edit this um, main screen here to see what it actually is mapping, you can see it, it maps the amount correctly, the document date, the picks of the US, USD currency, which is, I think is just default. We can see the uh, vendor order number right here. Uh, and it's complaining that there is no tax on this. Well, we didn't have any tax, so that's okay. Um, so I can also go ahead and open up the record related to this, and here it is. And I actually noticed that it's it's missing the account number here. Um, so that could have been defaulted from a setting inside the system. But kind of the point of this OCR is that it did actually take a look at the invoice, did find a few items to put in here. It's not perfect. Um, and you probably have to tweak it once you get into this, uh, setting this up. But uh, but at least, at least it sort of works, right? Uh, and in my mind, uh, it should be, you should be able to connect to many different OCR services out there. And I'm sure you can. Uh, you might just need to look into that, even though Kofax is the one that's recommended, it doesn't have to be the one you go with. So, um, I hope you got something out of this. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, take care.